right, the Pippa Pipkin clip collection. Let's go ahead and get started. Pip's thoughts on loot tubers are actually interesting topic. Like I used to be like this. I used to be like this. I think right. Like I'm not. not I'm not big in the loot tubers, right? Okay. But I remember it used to. I I used to be one of those people where I was like, oh my god. Well, if you want to be popular as a VTuber, just loot bait and and post a bunch of cool merch stuff. And mm. I don't, I don't, I don't think that's true anymore. I don't think that's true anymore. You know, first of all, it's none of my business. Whatever the. F I think it's not true anymore because there's so many loot tubers that it. A lot of people are probably desensitized to the big bouncing boobs. Fuck people do. It can be it can be annoying if you get spammed with it. Like you don't want to see that shit and you get spammed with it. But you need to also, make more than just hollow. You like gotta a, take care of the Discord. Would that take in <laughs> would that take in particular? Oh, oh, we're talking about Discord. I need somebody who can run the Discord, and I need somebody that's terminally online all the time so they could always fix the Discord. It was just kind of uninformed. If anybody wants to do it, let me now, know. Like I've seen plenty of loot tubers that are irrelevant as fuck. Damn. You know, you can't just be lewd in order to in order to get attention. Like Bro. the people the people that pop off for like being being lewd a few times or whatever are like, uh. oh my god, accidental um uh oh I said something in like a clip oh my god you know mm -hmm. like those people they don't have lasting popularity or whatever. Wait, like, even if you don't sustainability like the content, right like I don't like watching lewd tubers. I guess, I guess, well, That's I don't know, good. I like Shy Lily, and I guess she technically counts as a loot tuber, but... Shy Lily is a loot tuber, but she's also interesting. She's not just big titty, whatever, you know, womp womp. She's also very entertaining. So I think, and I've said this before, I'll say it again, loot tubers, it'll help you get seen, it'll get people to look at you, but how can you get those people to watch you? They'll look at you, but how will they watch you? So you gotta be different. You can't just have big tits and that's it. You need to have something else. I don't know, whatever. Anyways, I think just in general, you know, like people don't want to watch shit that they don't want to watch. Is a nice person. At least and she so, looks like a nice person. especially Seems as like, a, like nice a growing content creator, it's easy to be like, oh, well, if I just did this thing that's popular, I would be popular. But like, it'll get you people looks. just don't like you. you it'll know? get you people looks. People just didn't like me. It. Probably had to do with a lot with my, of my, of my shitty personality. And I respect the people that did enjoy me, right? But like, there you go. I, was, I was like seething, you know? You mm -hmm. need more than that. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad that I've grown not just in terms of numbers right because i'm very grateful that i can that i can live off of doing this that's good but i'm also glad that i've grown as a person and that's, that's not good. to say like i'm a good person and then no I'm... but you've grown you what? were a shit person and now you're less shitty Never? that's how it works right? but i'm i'm glad that i've grown alongside my audience in Hell terms yeah. of i don't know just being a person Hell yeah. I don't know. I feel like I stagnated for a long time as a neat. I'm getting off topic again. But I feel like I feel like when you're like a neat, you know, if you're if you're a neat, especially like in schooling, you don't get exposed to a What's lot a of neat? stuff. And I think I think that's how you grow as a person, you know. I think that's why so I think, terms, I think that's why it's good old. for people to travel and shit. You know, people travel yeah. and they come back and they're really annoying about it. They're like, oh my god, I went to Italy and I learned about yoga. That ain't I me. learned about, you know, <laughs> not living to be entertained. I, I travel, people are like, oh, what'd you do? And I was like, shit, none of your damn business. <laughs> living to enjoy the quiet entertainment you know worry about what i did right and you're like holy shit shut the fuck up you are so pretentious <laughs> but i think i think genuinely people do i do need to go to japan to get that merch though that's what i'm gonna do that's the about plan. life go to and japan the get that fucking merch and come back go outside the bubble i that's say as somebody who lives firmly inside of my own bubble and only takes very very short steps outside of it <laughs> hey at least you take a step some people don't leave God. it Anyways, that's my life advice. I'm kind of a loser, but if you Who enjoy it, North you know, Korea and Taco if you're also Bell. a loser, if I work for you, I'm gonna pop your bubble. No, no, God, Sakuna, Sakuna was like, Pippa, Pippa, you gotta, you gotta like, get your passport, Pippa, you. Yeah, that's an interesting, um, being lewd is easy, being consistently entertaining is, and, and correct is difficult. You don't even need to be correct, you just gotta be entertaining. Dark Side Phil isn't correct about a lot of shit, but a lot of people love him. I don't remember when a lot of people hated Dark Side Phil. So, you know, everybody gets their time. It's just what can you do within that time frame to make you stand out. Anyways, why people took a break? Let's hear this. Hello, why did you take a break? You I thought you so loved this shit, I currently girl. have an infection in one of my teeth. Oh, shit. It, it, it seems like anyways. I got... I'm on, I'm on some... It's not amoxicillin. It's like a mix of amoxicillin and something else. So I'm sorry if I'm not the most talkative today. Yeah, it hurts I'm to talk. That's best. terrible. But quite frankly, it hurts every time I talk. This has been, mm, this yeah. has been a this has been a week. Her and Asmund Gold are a match made in hell. <laughs> it's just been a week. Today specifically, the order of events was I banged my elbow Damn. and so now it's like bruised right on, on the bone. So every time I move my elbow it hurts. 
Then I went to I went to urgent care for my tooth and got the got the stuff thankfully. And then I went to go get I went to go get food and the fucking soda machine splattered syrup all over my goddamn hand. Nice. <laughs> This is a bad, bad, I mean, bad day. Didn't hurt. I, I thought she took, wait, took a break from my, streaming. My hand. Hope it gets oh. better, Piff. Thank you, thank you. Simply remove the tooth. Might have to <laughs> simply remove the tooth. I tried eating a popsicle before this, and I was like, as long as it doesn't touch my tooth, it'll be fine. But apparently, uh, apparently that's not how that works, and the cold touching the roof of my mouth makes it hurt like the a nerves. motherfucker. Makes it hurt like yeah. a motherfucker. Who would have thought? Please avoid sugar. Yeah, I've got I've got water today. Sorry, no can opening sound. No can opening sound. You can hear my. Mm. That's the little. I thought money. this why she took a break from streaming. Blah, blah, blah. But please get an appointment at a dentist and get checked out. Infections of the mouth can have devastating effects on health. Yeah, I. Uh, that's what the doctor said. That's what, what the room. doctor the said. The doctor was like, "Do you have a primary doctor?" And I no. was like, "No." <laughs> Do you have a dentist? And I was like, "No." No. The fuck. <laughs> And he's like, you you really need to go see a doctor. Okay. <laughs> and you really don't I will need take to go that advice and not use it. <laughs> and he was like, what insurance do you have? And I was None. like, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Paying for this out of pocket with stream money. But apparently, I ain't gonna lie, man. Go it, it, the longer I live and the more money I get, the more I'm thinking insurance is a fucking scam, bro. Like, y'all could have way more money. And then if something bad happens, as long as there's nothing like devastating, like a tornado comes and just destroys all of your shit, you could probably, all that money that you spend for insurance, you could have probably saved that up in a piggy bank on your own for whenever something bad happens. Like insurance is some bullshit. Damn, and then you can't even you drive without insurance. Oh, man, well, scam. I'll, I'll do that. Oh, scam. I'll just, I'll just keep going. That's I'm one of those people on chat where it's like, I don't, I don't trust. I don't trust, and then, and then, like, one person's nice to me, so I just latch onto them. So now I like specifically that nurse and that doctor, and I will Aww. trust them with my life. And then I'm doing a thing for the reason I take the popsicle, Pippa. How well, do you, you do, do that all with the your wrong primary care? All the time. I'm just really good at it. I'm just, I'm just really good at making the wrong decisions. You don't understand how good I am at it. Lower thing for doors. I do. I've been there. Antibiotics are the first step. Yeah, yeah I have antibiotics. antibiotics. That's what amazing. I'm on. Damn right. Antibiotics are king. All right. Pippa male. If you were a woman, what kind of music would... Huh? Excuse if you were a me? Woman. Excuse me? What do you mean? If you were a woman, what kind of music would you be into? What do you mean? What do you mean? I am a woman. What do you mean? What do you mean? What is that question? What is that question? What the hell did you mean by this? What did you mean by this? What? What? <laughs> Pippa male. Am I not listening to women music right now? Listen, women I'm music? listening to what song? Sung by the Taylor VA Swift? of a character that I like. That's that's a woman moment. Female on stream. That just means you're a fanboy. Oh my god. Oh you can't god. Be a woman. Women aren't funny. Are you saying women funny? aren't funny? Women aren't funny. God damn. Thanks. I feel safe. If loud is funny, then you play my the shit out of you. Do you make me laugh? Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. Sometimes you guys make me extort a small breath from my nose. Somet sometimes, 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 sometimes you get a little, a little chortle out of me. What? <laughs> I need to learn how to play mahjong again. It's like I forget, and then I play yakuza, and then it's time to play mahjong, and then it's like, okay, I learned it again, but I forget afterward. Um. Like, oh, no, Pippa talks about shrap? new no, iDubs. 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 Is iDubs still being that in two of, weeks? This is two weeks in ago. In my opinion. This okay, I'm clip? immediately doing the thing that I just said that I had. Doesn't he own like a boxing a company like, or something? I think objectively what iDubs did. What was iDubs kind of do? Up because he basically <gasps> shit over all of his fans and was like, I'm gay. I don't know what happened. I didn't do this. This is crazy. Like, oh my God, look at how, look at how awful all these people that love me are. Is, he, is... is she talking about when he first changed? When he first was like, okay, I'm done doing the, uh, the uh, edgy content or it did something new happen? Cause I remember that when he something did switch from edgy content. Happened which it is what it content is. Creators. And but if yeah, I ever, he did if turn I ever on his fan like base, I, I hope I get hit by a bus. Well, damn, <laughs> truck coon. Not saying I hope I dubs get hit by a bus. I don't care what happens to him. It's not my business. Bro. And just in general, I think that's that's kind of what I've learned. You know, as other people, <gasps> it's not my business. And I can have like opinions on what they do or how they're people them. or whatever. But it doesn't. You know, there's no point in like 
focusing on other people. Does that make sense? Yeah, mind how, your how business. Just look and point and laugh. People and focus on it. other people. Mm. Right? I want to focus on. I want to. Oh, I, I I never even thought about that, but yeah, I never thought about it because growing up, I never even paid attention to drama in school. I was always the last to find out. But yeah, it makes sense. Like if you ain't really got shit going on and you care about other people's business, yeah, I mean, maybe you're boring. I don't myself. know. But and drama is kind of entertaining. The more that wanna, I've gotten into it, I don't know. And that's not to say that I don't enjoy watching like fucking the Right Opinion's latest video on why Shane Dawson is fucking uh, an idiot for X, Y, and Z. Mm. Right? I do enjoy that. But like, I don't, I don't want to like make it my content. You know? Mm. Like, I think, I think it's, I think it's fine to be aware of other people and to not agree with the things that they do. Mm. But I don't want it to be my personality. Understandable. You know? I mean, yeah, it's if it's your personality like, to I be in the drama, that's kind of I am interested in other people's downfalls. <sighs> not because I hope for their downfalls, because but because it's I'm curious at what people do to I achieve do downfall, if that makes sense. I'm oh, I, oh the I'm editor curious. said that he preys on people's downfalls. That's a little crazy, my guy. curious at what people do that's to achieve That's a little crazy, my downfall, guy, to hope on someone's sense. downfall. That's crazy. Like, um, to hope on it. That's crazy. Like Sunny V2 videos where he's talking about like how Sunny V2 makes some good content. Bluey or yeah. whatever the fuck his name. I heard, like fell after off. I heard Sunny V2 was like stealing content, I was like, uh huh, whatever. Off. It's interesting because it gives you a sort of like perspective. Perspective. I don't know, like a insights into what not to do with your own life. Perspective. Or oh. I guess because I'm a content creator, right? Mm. And the, the kinds of videos the she and said shit that, that people make are usually about other content creators. So, I'm not saying you can't enjoy them if you're not a content creator. Oh, Ooh. my internet is dying. It helps. It I helps. Don't know. I don't like, It helps. I don't think it's wrong to enjoy them even if you're not a creator, content creator. But from my perspective, I enjoy that kind of stuff as a content creator. Not seeing people fucking fall off or whatever. But seeing like how it happened. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it does feel good seeing people it. get their comeuppance when, when, like, you know, when you personally know somebody Ooh. shitty and then shitty stuff happens to them. Oh man, that Ooh. feels so good. Oh, um, I don't know anybody like bad. that. I'm trying to, I'm trying to not be too much like that, but man, does it feel good sometimes? I mean, it is what it is. If you don't like somebody and you see them take a L, of course you're gonna be like, yeah, fuck them. I mean, I think America's about freedom. Pippa drunk on American fumes. Let's hear it. Freedom. America's about freedom. Okay, let's hear this. I know that's gonna sound really gay. I'm gay. But like, I think America should be all about being free, you know? And if people want to make whatever decision they want to make, they should be able to make it. Even if you don't agree with it. As long as it's not something that directly harms another person, like murder. I love America. I remember I shared the same opinion a couple years ago. America. I love freedom, Oh shit, she's watching Apollo America, Legend RP, that guy. I love you, chat. Bro, the way Apollo Legend went out was crazy, bro. Anyway, uh, uh, America is about freedom. You should do whatever you want as long as it doesn't hurt other people. I remember I shared the same sentiment. Now it's it's like I just care about myself. I don't really want to get into other people's stuff, and I don't want people to get into my stuff because a lot of people do. It. Anyways, Pippa being the most relatable VTuber for seven minutes. Let's hear it. I'm kind of like a serious note. Okay. I'm super serial. I feel like maybe you guys can relate to this. Yeah. I feel like I have not gotten less depressed, but I feel like I've gotten so good at just ignoring it. If that makes sense. Uh, coping? Do you know? Do you know what I mean? I what? <laughs> like, I, I oh, you've gotten you haven't gotten less depressed. You've gotten used to being depressed. Uh, you know, I still, I'm not a fucking psychologist, so I'm gonna keep my opinion to myself on that one. Well, I still get the episodes and stuff, and I still get, like, those nagging feelings, and you I'm get still, down. like, always tired, and mm -hmm. I think, I think that's what life is about. I think life is about taking your depression and just kind of shoving it in a nice little bottle. You just kind of mm -hmm. push that shit out, pu push that shit aside, no. and it doesn't get easier, like... Normies tell you this lie, right? Let's they tell this. you this fucking lie Let's where they're it. like, it'll get better, just go outside and touch grass. Oh, no, 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 it doesn't, it, it'll help, but it won't get better until you confront whatever the fuck it is that's depressing you. 
What is it, that whoever about? whoever's saying it'll get better over time, they really just don't give a fuck about you. Like if you cry to somebody and they're like, ah, it'll get better, and they're not trying to actually give you advice to your situation, they don't give a fuck. They're just trying to like try and make you feel better. But yeah, no, don't don't push it aside. Don't put it in a bottle. You gotta confront it. That's better. literally all you can do. And it's easier you said than done. You just get better and you get stronger at coping. Right? You get better with the copium. You get better it at it until it you don't. Go away. <laughs> until eventually right? you break. You still want to keep yourself. And you still think about it at the end of the day. And it's it always out. like there on the back burner. But you get really good at coming up with stuff other than this. as an option. I mean, yeah. Until you thing. don't. You know? <laughs> until you don't. Like you kind of build the muscle memory. You know, instead Holy of... Holy shit. If I, if I just... If people are saying facts... Oh, oh my god. <laughs> no, people, you yes. R.I.P. yes. the muscle memory to just wipe the stove while you're cooking in the microwave. You know? While, while, you're, while, you're, while you're heating up a cup of water. I'm glad you some people I mean? in the chat are telling her this no. is not a good idea. And if yes. I can do that, Jack, you can do it. Hell no. Do it. Hell I believe no. in you. Normally Hell say no. a lot of stupid shit, chat. They do it, they don't care about you. But they say stuff, right? Like, oh, just just, just do this. You, It'll get better. I'll just take meds. Oh, no, I forgot to take my meds. <laughs> I say meds do help coming from someone that was depressed and then took meds. I'm no longer on them. And, you know, I have episodes, too. But meds, they for me, they helped. For me, they helped until they didn't, until I broke even on the meds, right? Uh, it just depends on your circumstance and who you are. It's it, meds aren't a hundred percent cure. There's a reason why when you read like the bottle and shit and it's like warning may commit suicide even with taking these pills. It's not a hundred percent sure this. proof. Just do that, right? It's not but a it thing. It always feels like from a fundamental level that they just don't understand. Do you know what I mean? They probably don't. It always feels not everybody's like there's been a fundamental depressed. level at these people with these people where they just don't understand. And I know that's so cringe, right? I know that's so cringe. Like, they don't understand I, me. I understand. <laughs> other depressed people understand. I feel like it's just the people that are trying to sell the solution for depression that you don't can. seem to fucking understand anything. You, there is no, you know what there I mean? is no sale it's for like, depression. It just depends on who you are. Go ahead and think of day three. I was taught by Shin Megami Sensei. Send it. Shin Megami Tensei. Shin Megami Tensei. That the best way to win an argument against a moral nihilist is to simply kill them. Go men, Pipper. Huh. Many so kind of things. What the because fuck, Shin Megami Tensei? He playing. Means you should <laughs> try to enjoy life without stressing, since boring comes for us all. Yeah. I don't remember things. There's always market medical treatment in Canada. That's that's still self mortis. I heard that shit sucks. Canada fucking medical yeah, takes forever in its ass. Or y'all let me know who lives Something in Canada. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not guys. from there. Even when talking about dark subjects. Or even when being doing more about friendships and stuff. Sounds like I think about lies. A great reason to live is outliving people you hate. That is true. Hey, that that, is that's true. one of them. That's one of them. I don't know how that works. That Some old people are like that. They're like, I can't wait till you die, you old bit. And it's they both sound hate very you. homosexual, chat, but I love you too. Personally, when I get upset about things going wrong, my family just callously tells me that it's God's way of testing me or penance for past sins. My they first thought is to tell them to shove it. They don't understand. Yeah, honestly, they should shove it. It's definitely it's really a, uh, uh, If you self your enemies win by four you have to stick around, even if only to spite them. The deep topic there's in just, conversation. This is going to sound there's cringe, no but there's fear. just so much to live for. And, and for some people, religion is the answer. For some people, it is. For some people, it's meds. For some people, it's yoga. Some people, it's going outside. Some people, it's playing video games. Some people, it's talking with friends. There's no one solution for everybody, man. It's not what anybody you says it out you should own. live for, in my opinion. Or go to a therapist. They can try and help. But Chat. You know what's helping me a lot? Hear it, Pippa. Will help you. Streaming? Is it streaming? It sound cringe, Jack. It's streaming, isn't it? But this is what this is part of what I'm talking about when I say other people, like the people who aren't depressed, selling you the solution oh, okay. to depression. I have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. Because when I hear people say, right, but what about your friends? What about your family? I'm like, fuck those guys. All right, they're part of the people I want to spite. All Holy right, listen. Holy shit. I listen. The part of me that Holy wants shit. to self Minecraft also like wants the attention and validation 
after self Minecraft. No, that's from that's those people no, that's of, legit. Like, making them feel sad. That's legit. Shit, right? That's legit. That's legit. I I I know I know what you're talking about. Where it's like, damn, you don't care about me. Okay, I'm gonna end it, and then you'll then you'll care or you'll be sad or you'll miss me. But that that's literally like pointless because you're not going to be able to even enjoy the fact that they might be upset you're just assuming they might be upset and what if they're not upset what if they're like good riddance right that's not going to make you feel better if you were still around so that's not even a sure shot solution or making but I know them like reconsider about. things I know that they said about. to me and shit like that i've right? had those like, thoughts before when i was younger it, it's not oh man i want to live for them what right it's the it's the fuck you i'm getting yeah. back at you yeah and getting back at them as you right dying like that's not a gg that's a that's a that's a l um, homie that's a l shit that it's like you want to live for right is when like assassin's creed finally gets its comeback game right the the next assassin's creed game that mirage look good girl you You just gotta wait for you that look good eventually the franchise will return to its glory days that shit look good what's that minecraft added axolotls holy shit Hey, that new you know, Assassin's Creed like do look good. She right. Live she right on that one. the Minecraft Axolotl update. Live, yeah. I like this. I Live like hoping this advice. Half-Life 3 is just around the corner. And it's yeah, yeah, all right. Any day, now, you're coping again. You're coping again, Pippa. You're coping again. I ain't happy. You gotta live, chat. <laughs> but no, it's like, and she might be, seems like it's memeing, but I remember there was a guy who loved Naruto, and then when Itachi died, he ended himself. He never got to see Itachi come back as an Edo Tensei and get that moment with uh, Sasuke versus Kabuto, where he was like, oh, you know, I still love you, blah, blah, blah. He never got to see that moment. So, yeah, don't just end it because something bad happened, man, because something good might come out and you might just not be around for it. Three might come out and then if so you it's legit. Out, you're not going to be able to play it. Or a new true. show comes out and the new show is really fucking good. That's true. And if you'd killed yourself, you would have. You missed it. You you would have never gotten to watch you never it. got to see it death note three video games make me Whatever. want to be dead but i also wish i could do nothing else but play them instead of going to stupid work all the damn time this is that damn that's true too some people can't get to play the video game that sucks though but yeah i mean uh definitely re- relatable yeah but uh, I, 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 if you want to put politics in your eyes versus millennials, you know i feel like that's it. pretty normal all right we'll but i just know I just know in this fucking game it's just gonna be insufferable. Familiarity they cannot see, handle it well. Annoying. Oh, thanks for the game kind of a... They cannot hand they can't handle it well enough to convey the things to people they agree with in a good way. There's no fucking way that they're gonna like be able to make just a good story that surpasses any any like oh yeah, like I don't That's the power of art, chat, is to present ideas in a way that makes people who disagree with you see things in a new light see things from a new a new perspective huh be it politics or emotion or religion or whatever the fuck you want to do right whatever you it's wanna... hard to convey that in video game form if a lot of the game itself is not good so i played the new saints Row reboot the gameplay is fine the story was whatever but the characters i i personally enjoyed the characters now I can understand why a lot of people would say it's like cringe and whatever. And I agree. A lot of this shit is cringe. But I personally like on a uh, but like a, a political aspect. Honestly, I didn't resonate with the game politically. It's like whatever. Like, but if you I don't to even say that this game was trying to turn people from right wing to left wing or whatever. I personally didn't see it. Like, yeah, they added a gay character that's always shirtless. Yeah, there's a trans flag in the background. I like I don't think I personally didn't give a fuck. I, apparently some people did, but people online give a fuck about stupid stupid shit all the time. So does it really matter what they think about? They they think about everything. If you think about everything, that means nothing is of value, right? So I, I I just looked at it as it's a game, it's a Saints Row Saints Row reboot. And when it comes to a Saints Row reboot, they probably they, they missed. They missed, right? But a lot of this game, for me, was enjoyable, even though as a Saints Row reboot, it was a miss. Portray. But if you can't do it well, man, it's just fucking insufferable. That's just ammunition against you. Holy shit. That's true. Classist that's mentality. Yeah, that's that's the thing with this fucking game, right? Is it's... Mm-hmm. I'm going to sound so annoying here, mm-hmm. but like, it is classist, isn't it? It fucking is classist. 
the whole thing about this is it's like what? these fucking like at worst upper middle class motherfuckers. And I know they're like, oh they went to an orphanage and oh man. What? Look at the fucking way that they dress and act, man. It's a video. Okay, Pippa, uh, Pippa didn't play the game, right? Dude, there ain't no way these people are upper middle class and they living in a three, a two or three bedroom apartment and there's four of them with a cat. That is not, and they live in the middle of fucking nowhere. That is not upper middle class. <laughs> if you have to have four roommates in a two or three bedroom, you're not upper class. That's crazy, bro. She didn't play the game. You know why they look like this? Because it's a video game. You can go to the store and you can buy whatever you want. How do they get money in the game? By killing people and taking the money. By doing missions, you you destroyed some shit. Here's ten thousand dollars. What is she talking about, bro? What, like fuck off, fuck off. You can give them whatever fucking backstory you want, dude. But at the end of the day, these are some upper middle class motherfuckers <laughs> that you're throwing on some old poor me backstory still and trying uh, to. There's no as old poor me backstory. The main character literally signs up to be a mercenary to pay rent. There is no what is she? I think she's I think she's talking about something else and assuming that's what the game's about. Like speaking for the people. Fuck off. Fuck off, man. Holy shit. Unironic fucking LARPers. This is like when somebody on fucking social media, right? These are the kinds of people, right? They go on fucking like Instagram and they post like this. Headshot one kill. One hundred eighty five dollars. It's literally proving my point. Goddamn sob story about how like, oh my god, it's so hard. I've had to cut back from 10 Starbucks. I used to, I used to get Starbucks every single day on my way to work. And I had to cut back because times are really hard. My landlord just up my rent and I can't have a Starbucks coffee every single day anymore. I ain't gonna lie. It sounds like she, she, she thinks she knows what the game is about without playing it because she's just watching reviews and hearing shit from the internet. She didn't play the game, so she doesn't know what she's talking about. She just assumes she knows what she's talking about. This this is the first Pippa L that I've ever seen. And maybe there's more because Pippa seems to say like a whole bunch of crazy shit. All right, Pippa, drunken capitalism rant. Let's Chat, it. this is going to be very not based, but personally, I don't care what people headcanon a fucking character as. It really doesn't. It doesn't fucking matter to me. People are doing it now with... um. Gwenpool or whatever the fuck the character's Gwenpool. name is from the new Spider-Man. I really don't fucking care, chat. Like... was this? Four weeks ago? Are you talking about Into the Spider-Verse? It's a good fucking headcanons. People are, like, creating their own, like, personal takes on characters. Uh, Why? That I, sounds familiar. Kind of like the Saints Row reboot we just saw. What, what, what does that fucking matter to me, man? People do that kind of shit all the time. People make fucking uh, complete new versions of, of pieces of media and shit. And I feel like the only reason why people care is because they're slaves to copyright law. I unironically think copyright huh? law is the fucking devil and people Listen, I'm not no fucking oh. communist or nothing, but I think like copyright law and shit, that shit is just fucking like Disney fucking trying to control the people and shit. I think, <laughs> I think the way co I mean, a copyright law is ass. <laughs> but copy copyright law in itself in itself is actually important. It's just the the handling and the enforcement of copyright law is what's really terrible. Like if you make a fan Pokemon game, Nintendo will come and shut that shit down. So it it, it inherently stops competition because the person that made the fake Pokemon game unironically made a better Pokemon game than the people that own it. But because of copyright law, they cannot publish the game. Even if they made it and they weren't even selling it, copyright law will stop them from letting other people enjoy the game. So yeah, copyright law in itself, God doesn't think you follow God. Copyright law in itself really is important. It's just the enforcement is bullshit. Copyright law has been like extended and shit. That's fucking, that's like- And you can extend the copyright, which I agree is some bullshit. I feel like if you make something, and it's really good and everybody likes it, cool. You got copyright for the next 10 years, whatever. But then you, you can pay to extend it even longer 
That's some bullshit. Just make something new. <laughs> Just another way for like corporations and shit to try and like stifle the people. Because like people, stifle right? Like people. Alice in Wonderland, you know? Like that's uh, like a public domain story. Anybody can make their own spin on it and yeah, shit, right? And a lot and of good shit has come out of it. Like goddamn. A lot Disney, of good stuff has come and out of it. They come in. And they're like, nah, man, you can't do that because basically we own Alice in Wonderland. And they try and do that. And it's it's fucked up, man. It's it fucked is. up. It is. And I think I think Stops people should be allowed to make whatever fucking version of Alice in Wonderland they want. I think art should I be transformative. So Maybe that's a fucking hippie ass take, but I it, think it is art should be shit, allowed to be transformed. It's true. I think you should be allowed to clip my stream and you uh, should be able to make whatever fucking monetized content you want out of it. I don't okay. fucking care. If you're making shit out of my content, mm -hmm. that's perfectly fine with me. It's fine with me too as long as that shit's transformative. I don't want to see you take my shit and just directly put it somewhere else. Unless it's like on another platform. Okay, I don't give a fuck. Right? If like if somebody took my shit and they put it on TikTok and like separated it, whatever. And even if it's not heavily edited, if they separate it, put it on TikTok, I don't care. But to rip my shit and then put it on the same site is some bullshit. That is some straight bullshit. But if you edit it, I don't have no issues with it. You could even put a simple if you're putting subtitles on the screen, that's a simple edit. Like, yeah, fucking. Even if you rip the whole shit and you just put subtitles through the whole thing, I will acknowledge the effort, and I'll just be like, man, fuck it, you got subtitles, man. Fuck it, you win it. I might just go out and hire you. I might be like, man, hey, I don't have subtitles. You do them, and you do them well. Hey, you want to just come help me? Like, that's it. That's literally it. Because art is transformative, and I think the people that are like, no, don't put me and monetize it, I think those people are afraid that they can't keep up. If you're afraid, mm. this is the same thing when people get insecure about another VTuber coming on the scene tape. and shit. And sometimes I get like this too, you know? I'm not fucking, I'm not perfect. I remember Gen 2. I was very like worried about Gen 2. I was like, oh man, Gen 2 is going to come along they're gonna and they're going to be like a new hot thing. And they're going to, mm. oh, my viewers are going to leave me and shit. And you know what that was? That was insecurity. insecurity. But it's normal to have insecurity. The only issue is to let your insecurities overtake uh, your, your thought process. Like, if you're thinking rationally, but then your insecurities come and just take over all that natural thought, that's the issue. So, like, yeah, Gen 2 comes out. You might be insecure about it, but you still have the core Pippa fan base. Some may leave to go join Gen 2, whoever the fuck joins. That's normal. That happens. No, I feel the same way, too. And I'm sure some other people feel the same way about me because people, everybody has an ego. It just depends on how big it is. My ego's... I, compared to a lot of people on the internet, I think my ego is pretty fucking small. I will purposely like stop or lose a debate because it just it's not that big a deal. It's not that big a deal. And I think anytime what up, Dragon? a fucking Welcome VTuber back. or whatever the fuck is like, oh, uh, fuck this other VTuber because blank or whatever, you, it's insecurity, man. And I think I think it's really wholesome when streamers can like say stuff like that or whatever and then eventually get over it yeah, and then they gross. collab and stuff i'm that's not gonna say gross. names but like I'm... there was this one vtuber and she was she called like another vtuber like a lesser form of herself and mm. then like and started collabing and being friendly and stuff and i think that shit was wholesome i think that was good i think art should be transformative I'm I, I don't know where, how you went from art to being transformative into that that's holy. that's a good that's a good tangent. segue but yeah man, that's a good segue i think people should I, I, it's kind of hippie, man, but I think like people should get along with each other mm. and I think art should be transformative and there should not be a bunch of copyright and shit, right? Because art is like the speech of the people. <laughs> this is so, Fucking like, hippie dangy, as man. shit, bro. <laughs> this is so dangerous. But I feel like, I feel like, like, like movies and stuff, man. I think it makes sense for there to be like a copyright status on it for like a little while, right? Because you don't yeah. want just people you fucking putting out a movie, putting out all that hard work, and then the movie gets put out, and then people are automatically re-uploading that shit to fucking Pirate Bay or something. But like, wait, wait, it shouldn't be more than like ten years in my honest That's what opinion. I'm saying Unless too, you're putting ten out years, like direct bro. sequels or something, but I don't know. Even then, that would increase like people putting out like the good fucking garbage. Fucking, you know, remember when Disney was doing the direct to DVD sequels, shit like that? They'll put out I shit like that, I man. Don't I don't know. That. Maybe 100 years is a good cutoff. I think more, maybe like 50 years. I think 50 years is about the maximum. I think 50 years is about the maximum that people should do. 50 years is a long ass time. time. I, think, I think 50 years may be too long. Maybe 20. Like, and even then, 20 is stretching. Ah. Like, maybe you can increase the copyright by making a sequel. Um, but then people just put out shitty sequels to their films just so they can extend the copyright. So. 
That's not even a good fix either. Fuck Disney. Well, fuck you. I might work with them one day, so I can't. I gotta skip this part. I ain't gonna have this. Clip out. Get the bag. Get the bag. I gotta skip that part. It was originally 14. I think 14 is a good number. No, I don't think it's July. I wasn't listening. What are we talking about again? Fuck Disney. I uh, okay, okay. I cannot handle this this Disney slander. We love Disney over here. <laughs> Pippa with Stun Lock. Wait, Asmund Gold replied to her. I gotta hear this. What's up, Expert 9? You're back. overthinking it. So Asmund Gold, Probably. She's a Pippa is a really big Asmund Gold fan. Probably. I tend to So she's about to leak the DMs. I got a, Not I really, got a DM she's gonna talk about from it. a creator. Let's hear it. That I really, 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 really look up to today. Let's hear it. How'd it go? And I just, I just could not come up with a reply. So I went to one of the managers. <laughs> oh my! You're going to a manager I for a DM, and I asked them. To Bro, they were probably like, "Just say how much you like." Or to help like, me, he, he watches the content. And apparently. they gave me something to say, and I and then I I, I, I like grilled they, them on it. I was like, "But you, is that okay to say? Is that? But what if they interpret it like this? But what if that? What if? What if? What if? What if? What if, what if, what if? <laughs> manager Son had a long day that day. <laughs> Manager Son had a long so, day trying to come end, up I with just, a DM I copy reply. <laughs> I made a minor adjustment. I added an emoji at the end. <laughs> well, I mean, you grilled them, so apparently you but had I, help I, making I, it. I, I took the plunge and I, I, I copy and pasted management's response. And, and then what happened? <laughs> what happened next? So hopefully, hopefully they don't oh, yeah. see this because then they'll and, know that I had to go to management. Yeah, yeah, to go to management yeah. just to get a response to a DM. That's kind of crazy, dude. That is kind of crazy. <laughs> But wait, Chet, that's not the only time There's I've done more. that. There's more. <laughs> I've done that a few times. <laughs> I laugh. Okay, what happened next? Okay, so I saw I saw Chet mentioning Mori. So like with Mori. Wait, Mori Calliope? I wrote a big, long, like five paragraphs. Jesus Christ, in a DM? I wrote like five paragraphs and then I sent that to management and I was like, can you read this over for me? And they were like, that's Managers, way too much. Manager son had a long day. No so way. management, management helped me cut that down greatly. What happened? And, and then when I got a response back, I was like, what do I say now? <laughs> oh god. It's never ending, huh? I can't communicate with people, Chet. <laughs> Chet, thank you for the raid! And just like thank everything, it takes time. And just like everything, it takes time. If you get a DM from somebody you really care about or you really ins are inspired by, the best way to respond is just naturally. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for sharing the love. I appreciate it. And then you move on from there. Maybe try and form a friendship. Maybe not. Maybe keep it professional. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, that's the Pippa Pipkin. Clip collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. Join the Discord if you want. Send some uh, stuff on Twitter, and I will probably get to it. Anyway, see you guys on the next one. Bye.